I should point out that before I do problem number three here on homework 1b that the first two problems are, are uh, examples of what you need to be able to do. Uh, ex uh, objective seven in unit two is to model real life situations with quadratic functions and that's what we did there. Objective eight is to be able to model, you should be able to model uh, data with quadratic functions. And so that's what uh, problem number three here is all about is modeling data. And so we have data given to us. X is uh, this number of seconds after the ball, a rock is released or dropped from the tall building. So the scenario is the rock is dropped from a tall building and its distance in feet below the point of release is recorded as accurately as that. So we are given all these number of seconds after the rock is released and uh, from the tall building and then how far away so how how many feet the rock has dropped at that at these times after the rock had been dropped and so what we want to figure out is how far the rock had traveled uh, first of all we want to find a quadratic regression equation and it says find the regression equation of the best model so uh, we are in the quadratic function of best fit so that's what we're going to be finding here is the quadratic function and I'll show you why we would do that as well but uh, then we have a question after that so let's go ahead and get the model and to get that we want to be typing in our data so this is our list one and so these are our list one values and this is our uh, this is our list two and these are our list two values and to get to those lists we want to push the stat because we have statistics here and we want to push the stat button because we're going to enter some data. And we're going to edit our lists by hitting enter. And then if we have any data already in those lists, then I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. If we have any data at all in there, we want to clear it out. To clear it out, you uh, go to the list of the data you want to clear out, push the up arrow until you highlight the name of the list, push the clear button, and then enter, and then it'll clear out all those values. And then move over to the other list, you want to clear out, highlight the name of the list, push clear, enter, and now we have two clear lists. You could also type over that, but I never like to do that because sometimes there's less numbers in my new list than there were in the old one. That'll totally mess me up. So our x values are the ones given first. The distance in feet depend on, depends on the seconds after the release. So the independent variable is the number of seconds, and the dependent variable is the distance in feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in 1 through 6. And I'm going to double check that all the numbers are in there. And I'm going to go to my list 2 and type in all those values, 16, 63, and so forth. Keep typing them in. And now I've got both of my lists look good, just double checking the numbers. Once I do that, I have to, I want to calculate, well first of all, let's go ahead and take a list, look at what the numbers look like or what the scatter plot would look like. And I like to go to my y equals, push the up arrow for uh, plot one to select it, I hit enter, down arrow just to make sure that plot one is selected, and then zoom nine for zoom stat, or I can scroll down and hit enter. And now it shows that uh, it shows a little a little curve to the to the scatter plot. Now, in our one of our previous units, we calculated a line of best fit, but uh, this looks more like there's a curve to it. And um, if we did calculate stat, right arrow for calc, and then linreg, uh, that's line of uh, linear regression, and we just hit enter all the way down. Oh, I should have, sorry, I should have um, stored it in Y1. So I'm going to go ahead and store it in Y1. And we get a, if we graph it, we can see the line. It, yeah, okay, so that does look okay for a line of best fit. But just understanding the rock is going to speed up as it's falling off that off that building, then... Um, the, the rate of change of the distance from where the rock was released is going to change. So it's going to have a little upward curve to it. And uh, if we hit stat, uh, stat calc, and then now 
instead of linear regression model, we'll hit quadratic regression down to store it in Y. We're going to store it in Y2, actually, so we can compare. So a much better model when you look at the, at the quadratic regression model. And we'll talk more about why, uh, how mathematically we can determine that. But nevertheless, we're going to use our quadratic model. And I'm going to go back here to y equals. I'm going to clear out my linear model. So we just have our quadratic. And now it's saying, uh, oh, and so I didn't, um, I didn't write down what those parameters were. So let me go ahead and do that. And the parameters are the a, the b, and the c. So we have the quadratic regression model is y equals a times x squared. So 15.536. Always going to round your answer to the, your numbers to the nearest three digits after the decimal plus 2.936, that's the B value that goes in front of the X, and then minus 3.4, so that, there we have our, our C value. And then, again, what we're trying to figure out here is according to the model, how far had the rock traveled 4.2 seconds after it was released? So we want to figure out the value. We can do it two, way, two ways. We can do second calculate value, enter, and then 4.2, I can hit enter. So how far did it travel? 282. Y of 4.2 is 282.98 feet. And how do we show that? Well, we could show the graph. And we could show that, uh, let's see here, kind of goes up like that. And then we have the ordered pair, 4.2, 282.98. Like that, so we can show it like that, and uh, we can also find that value if we go clear the screen. Vars y variables y two. Remember, it's in y two. I deleted my y one at four point two. So this is one way to do it, and you can write like that: y of four point two equals that, and either drawing the graph or writing that equation right there gets you full credit. But nevertheless, that's how far the rock traveled at the 4.2 seconds after it was released.